Welcome to Approved with Megan and Wendy, the podcast where we share one item every week that we're currently using and loving. And we're your hosts. I'm Megan Samarin. And I'm Wendy Nielsen. If just 10 minutes talking about stuff we love isn't enough for you, please join us on Instagram. You can find us at Megan and Wendy. Hey, we want to know what you are using and loving. Please email the show, Megan and Wendy at gmail.com or... You can tag us at Megan and Wendy on Instagram. And last week I mentioned our Patreon, how much we'd love to have you as part of that community. If you love feeling like you're just hanging out with your best friends on the internet, I did not mention where you can find it. It is patreon.com slash Megan and Wendy. That community grows by the day and we'd love to have you join us over there as well. You can get a free week to kick off your time as a Patreon subscriber. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Wendy, what do you have this week? Well, back to the drugstore, baby. Mm. I I recently picked up the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. Is that the moisturizer in a jar? It is the moisturizer in a jar. Yes. I love that stuff. You use it? I own it, yeah. I thought you did. I couldn't remember. When I went to purchase it, I bought it at Target. They have, you know, a very similar newer product called Water Cream, but this is the water gel. Mm. Um, I think the cream's like a heavier moisturizer. Yeah, probably. I didn't, I don't know why. I can't remember what I looked at to make me choose. I think that... This one is beneficial for all skin types, Mm. the gel. And what I like about it, and you use it, right? So what I like is that it doesn't leave like a greasy like film on your face. It's not like, it's gel-like, but not greasy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not like putting a hair gel on your face. Is that what you're (laughs) equating it to? I would hope you're not using a moisturizer that's leaving a greasy gel on your face, but... Mm. No, I do but, like it as a person with oily skin. I feel like it absorbs beautifully. Yeah. I guess like it doesn't leave like a shine. It like mm. it absorbs. I like it a lot. I've been using it my this time of year, especially my skin gets so dry, my face. And I've been using this in combination of at night with a kind of a heavier overnight cream. So say, for example, on the nights that I do do my nighttime skin (laughs) routine, I will put this on. But then before I go to bed, I'll put on like a heavier barrier. Do you know what I mean? I do. But I really like this. It's nice. And I can use it during the day too, if I didn't want to use like an SPF. Mm-hmm. which is not typical of me. I usually use an SPF every single day. Well, yeah, if you didn't want nice to product. use what you mean is a moisturizer with SPF built in, you could still layer an SPF on top if you want. Yes, to. ma'am. Exactly. Exactly. Now, the prices, though, for this thing, nineteen ninety nine for a drugstore product feels yeah. criminal. I do bit. think drugstore skincare has just gotten so much more expensive. Like, nothing's so under $10. Vanna cream is under $10. Is it? I love that stuff. I like Vanna Cream a lot. That's can, my nighttime moisturizer of choice. Oh, really? Yes. I can only really ever find it at Walmart. Walmart seems to oh, always I buy have it. it. Oh, really? The Target I go to does not sell it. Mm. Maybe they're just out of it. I don't know. But yeah, nineteen ninety nine feels kind of expensive. I'll continue to use this. I like this line from them that it comes in that light blue sort of branding yes i do know what you're talking about i like it too that's what i've got what do you got this week well i have another product that i learned about at a favorite things party this holiday and this is going to tick two of our bingo boxes because not only is it another favorite things item but it is also a shark tank product (laughs) the brand is Tentacle. And no, I am not saying that wrong. It is T-E-N-I-K-L-E. I'm not just blurring out that T, you know, like people yeah. blame millennials for doing. Yeah. Like saying important. Anyway, it is uh-huh. the Pro Bendable Suction Cup Tripod Mount. Okay. It is basically a phone tripod. And what is different about it is in its base form, it has a clamp for your phone, which 
holds my phone with the case on, which a number of tripods that I own don't do that. I have to remove the case yeah. in order to get the clamp to fit, which I love because I use a loopy case, which is kind of bulky on the back. So that's the point for it. And it just works as a tripod, and it's great. But the three legs of the tripod, hence the tentacle name, have suction cups on them, and they're bendy. So you can wrap them around something. You can stick them to a non-porous surface. So if you want, I've seen videos where people have them, like, stuck to their dashboard, filming their drive. Again, be safe. Stuck to their mirror, filming a get ready with me. You can use it just as a phone holder stand if you're watching your phone your bathroom counter while you're getting ready obviously all the things you'd use a phone tripod for i just find it to be very versatile to use because the legs are bendy you can kind of stand it up on anything as a tripod it works great for people who wonder about these things they did get a deal from damon for two hundred thousand dollars in 2023, they had $5 million in sales. So I'd say that deal worked Whoa. out pretty well for him. Wow. Yes. Now, on Amazon, it is currently listed for $29.89. However, it is $10 off at Best Buy, where it is $19.99. It's $30 on the Tentacle website itself. So if you find yourself in need of a tripod that's versatile for Whatever, whether you're content creating, whether you like to take photos of your family on the go, whatever you like. If you want to wrap it around the handlebars of your bike, that's not obviously (laughs) something I'm ever going to do. But if you want to film your off-road adventures, you can do those things. That's cool. Yeah. I figure, you know, like those kind of, what are they called? Phone mounting things or dime a dozen. They're everywhere, but they're not all created equally. You know what I mean? So it's good to hear. And I own a lot of them, a lot of them. (laughs) And I have over the past owned similar products, but I think the suction cups on the legs really take this one to the next level because I've owned them that have the bendy legs. You can wrap around things, but the suction cup, there's photos of people have them like suctioned to parts of their cars because if you don't have a screen in your car, you need like maps up. Mm. Yeah, you yeah, have, yeah. Like your phone screen visible for that. Nice. It's a cool product. I like it. I'm a big fan. It was a great favorite thing. Bring. Awesome. I want to do a very quick unrecommendation. I want to de-influence people really quickly. Mm. Very quickly. Do because tell. this product has been going viral and I feel like I need to give my input. Mm. It is the CoverGirl Simply Age- Ageless Skin Perfector Essence, and it is hard to come by. It's sold out even online a lot of places. And if you look at it, it looks like it's separated in the tube. But what it is, it's beads of color foundation suspended in basically like a water base. People are comparing it to a Chanel water foundation. And people are saying it's a dupe for that. I'm going to tell you, first of all, it is between 19 and $22 for a CoverGirl foundation. Wow. It doesn't work for my skin. I've used it. I've tried it several different ways. I've tried it with a primer. I've tried it with my hands. I've tried it with a beauty blender. I've tried it without a primer. I've tried it with a brush. I've tried warming it up on the back of my hand and then dipping the brush into it. It doesn't work for me. Now, that doesn't mean it's not a great product because I've seen people put it on and it looks amazing. But right now, my skin, as I mentioned in our last episode, is going through it and it grabs onto every bit of texture, every tiny potentially bit of flaky skin around a healing blemish, which I know sounds disgusting, but my other foundations don't do that. They don't Mm -hmm. accentuate everything that I'm trying to cover. It's not marketed as a high coverage foundation, but... It makes my skin look worse. And I'm just saying, if you have been influenced by the TikTokers of the world telling you that this is the foundation that you need, maybe you'll love it. But I'm just letting you know, not everything is the perfect foundation. It didn't work for me. So I just felt the need to de-influence some people right there because I did buy into the hype. And I did have it overnighted from Amazon to me as soon as my color came in stock. I remember. I remember the day it came. You were like so excited. I was so excited. (laughs) So maybe if your skin texture is perfect, it works great. Yeah. Didn't work for me. That's all. That's a bummer. 
Hey, thanks for listening to this episode of Approved with Megan and Wendy. If you love this podcast, we love your five-star ratings and reviews. Leave them in the app of your choice. Don't forget to tag us on Instagram with your approved items, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.